Hey, Facebook family and friends, it's me again, Stephen Brown. Y'all know what I do. I take the show on the road. I find the best talent in the best area, and I bring them on Facebook Live, and I make sure they get that exposure that they rightfully deserve. <laughs> right now, I'm chilling with my sister, Robin Connor, a.k.a. Miss Pumpkin, right? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to allow her to introduce herself to Facebook to get y'all guys a little familiar with her. And then we're going to get into the um, interview. And y'all know how I do. I ask the right questions for the right answers. Hello, Facebook. This is Robin, a.k.a. Miss Pumpkin. How you doing? Um, from Manetta, South Carolina. Um, I'm a mom of three. Wife of one. <laughs> okay, this time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, I used to be a case manager. And uh, for the disabled and special needs, um, I used to work for BSS mm -hmm. yeah, in South okay. Carolina. And now I am a stay-at-home mom, aspiring comedian, and I do do some promoting underpaid, of course. Okay. And I just love, I'm kind of like one of those. Um, soccer type like mom. Right now. Uh, yeah, I love to do all kind of stuff. I'm a dance mom. I used to be um, a, a t-ball coach. Um, so that's a lot of cheer, things that, oh yeah, I'm most definitely that. Cheer coach, cheer okay. mom, all okay. that kind of good stuff. So okay. I do a lot of stuff. PTO president. You know? okay. So y'all hearing it from Miss Robin. Um, and that was the reason why I decided to bring her on my podcast show tonight. Um, we are at a great location, a venue, great atmosphere, great people, tremendously great vibes. And, um, and when I'm around good vibes, I normally, I'm, I'm at my best. Um, she does a lot of things. Um, obviously, she just shared that with y'all guys a little bit. But what I want to do now, Miss Robin, I want to talk a little bit about your um, stand-up comedy um, um, career that you have going for yourself. You shared some things with me earlier in mm -hmm. reference to that. So, um if you, if you don't mind, let's reiterate this stuff on Facebook Live and give them a little something about you from a comedian standpoint of view. Okay. 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 Um, I started um, April 20th, 2018. I had been making people laugh, and I didn't quite get it. I was When I would tell people my sob stories and depressive stories, right. for some reason, it always came out as a joke. Right. And so... People were telling me, you know, you need to start um, get putting it on stage. And right. I really wanted to. I really, I would go to the comedy house and I just felt that desire to just want to get up there. Right. And so there was an opportunity to go and do an open mic. So I, I prayed about it and I jumped in my truck. I didn't tell nobody what I was doing okay. except for my daughter. And I just went. Right. And pulled up in the parking lot and I didn't even say I was going to do it. I just walked on in, signed up, and did it. Saw myself on YouTube when they posted it and fell in love with what I did. And so, and I'm kind of glad you brought that up. Let's talk about YouTube. Um, from my understanding, you are on YouTube currently at the moment. Yeah. Um, share with Facebook how they can, you know, find you on YouTube so they can check you out a little bit to see what you, you know, you really have going on from a, from a comedian standpoint of view. Um, I think it's very important. Um, that people know you, not just you, but know what you do so they can check you out to pretty much generate your support. As personally myself, I will be um, subscribing to your channel and I will be loving and liking everything that you do because you. that's what I do. I intend um, to show that support to spotlight those that deserve that spotlight. Um, teamwork makes the dream work. So Thank if we work you. as a unit, as we work as a collective or whatever, um, I think those are pretty much ways that we can help enhance each other's careers or whatever. And so like again, Part myself once again. This is why I have this lady on here because she has shared a very inspiring story to me. I mean, very inspiring. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that she has going on, you know, from a community standpoint of view. And obviously, y'all guys know what I do from a community standpoint of view. I am a community activist. I go tremendously hard at everything I do when it comes to the kids in the communities or whatnot. And given that she has personally involvements in the community, once again, people like this deserve recognition and they also deserve that support. So once again, before I get a little too carried away, I need to reiterate something. Let's continue to support people like this that's willing to do things from a community standpoint of view. 
Um, anyway, let's get back to um, what we was talking about with this YouTube thing. Yeah. Um, share some information with these guys on Facebook Live, how they can check you out on YouTube. Well, my YouTube page is Punkinology. Um, it's P-U-N-K-I-N-O-L-O-G-Y. Punkinology. I have some postings of some previous things I've had um, when I would just get on Facebook and just say some Right. random stuff right, and right, right. it was some stuff that I just found to be hilarious right. you know I would talk about some things I would happen to see or something like that and it just came out funny so right. I would post that then there was um, some of the actual stand ups that I actually did um, if I got some videos of it I would post that right. um, the two times that I did open mic at the comedy house there on there um, I I think um, I I think one of them on there. Um, I also had an opportunity with Keisha McCullough, um, okay. the one who um, won the first um, Columbia Got Talent. She gave yes, me an opportunity right after that month after to go to Orangeburg okay. and um, perform Ooh, on stage, yes. and that was a tremendous opportunity right. for me. And it was also a challenge, obviously. It was a was... very big yes, challenge yes, for me. Yes, yes. Um, and I, that was posted on YouTube also. And okay. I, that's one of the things I just love that there, you know, somebody was helping me right, right, right then. Right. Um, I had some wonderful people since then to um, to support me. Um, other comedians in Correct. this area. Um, and I love what you're doing because you. um, had it not, you're, you're doing something wonderful for me. Thank you. Um, and I I love going out and supporting some of the other comedians That's that right. I That's see. Right. Um, I, I give at least two things criteria. You I notice your heart. Right. That your heart is really in it. Right. And your talent. Right. And these people are tremendous in their talent right. and in their heart. And these people have I, I know that I'm correct because these people have shown me love. Right. Not because I showed them love, but it's like it's a oh you correct, know. Correct. What that little that little um thing from Disney with the with, with funny ears. Yeah, or I whatever. know exactly what you're but talking about. But I feel like we are all a comedic Ohana. Right. And um Randy Scott Randy um it's Randy <laughs> Lord I'm, you got me so oh Lord. Hey. Randy <laughs> She's, she's cool Jill, now. She's a cool lady to be around. And like. it, Ian is a lot of wonderful people. Right. Um, Schaefer, Jake, it's a wonderful, wonderful so, people. That so, I, so yeah. I want to ask you now, like, you know, from a community standpoint of view, yeah. um, obviously you do a lot of things from that perspective, right? Yeah. What are some of the things that you feel like needs to take place in our communities, within our environments to make it better? Like, what is your envision? How do you feel like you can contribute in some type of way, form, or fashion to potentially help bring about a, a change? I mean, like, how could you apply your what's your career with the community? I honestly, um, I was just talking to somebody today about that. Um, I get a high off of promoting other people. Right, right, right. I get a high off of watching other people's dreams. Come you know, into reality, what? exactly. You know, exactly. I, and, and it's weird because you see so many people actually going behind other people and stabbing them in the back. Why we don't? Why we that. don't know? You right. know, you want to. Uh, so many people don't want to see other people get above them. They they, they want to see them. You know, they want to see themselves above other right. people. They want to be the top dog, the most popular. Right. But that's not me. I want to see. I want to. Be the one to say, okay, that's my that's my brother, that's my sister. Y'all are hearing it from her. It, you know, y'all are hearing it from her. You, you know, see what I'm saying? that's my Ohana right there. You right. know, that's my baby, that's my child. You know, I, I that's, that's my right. fam right there. That's right. And you know, I I I I may have had a little part to do with it. Right. You know? That's correct. You know, I'm a little seed. And, <laughs> I tell y'all, she funny, you know, but she maybe, she good but, people to be around. I'm gonna tell you that right now. She's an awesome lady, and I support everything she do. 
from a personal standpoint of view, um, and that's why I'm taking the initiative once again to spotlight this lady because she has so much to bring to the table. Like, it's awesome. Today, I was just doing a Facebook Live by myself in my vehicle, and some of the things that she is sharing now with Facebook Live, I was just talking about those things. It's like she reiterating that. We need to come together and, 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 and help each other, you know, to achieve what you see in life, man. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. You know, it's not about, you know, um, displaying that level of jealousy, um, hatred, enviness, greed. We got to get past that stuff because it's, it's not going to get us nowhere. We need to stop blaming, once again, like I said earlier, the white man for things that we are creating on, on yeah, ourselves, yeah. man. We got to stop that. Stop with the blame game. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, we can't use the white man as a tool to try to justify things that we are already conscious and aware of that we are actually displaying. And so once again, I would I do not want to diverse um, from this interview because once again, the interview is not about me personally. It's about this young lady right here because she shared a very inspiring story to me. Actually, I'm at her location of venue. And it makes me feel great when people welcome me in their home. Like, it's unbelievable. But people like this follow me on Facebook. And you, this is how God works in mysterious ways. He has a funny way of connecting people. You know, mind that te mind I take mind. When you have people that have the same mind states, mindset, goals, mission statements, typically this is the result right here. So anyway, back to Miss Robin. The very inspiring young lady. I'm going to let her continue to share with Facebook Live what she has going on. And I'm going to ask once again, outside of myself, if there's anybody out there that can support this lady, support her and everything that she do. Because when she around me, like I said, anybody that I deal with is family. So the way y'all guys support me, I'm asking y'all to do likewise. But continue, um, carry on, Miss Robin. Okay. Let's get it in. All right. Um, well, I share a yeah. little bit about the community, like what oh, type of programs okay. you want to come up with. I know you got oh some stuff God. clicking. Yes. Yes. You were talking about how people connect. Right. See? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> mind, I take mine. I cannot walk in even a grocery store without somebody coming up to me and we clicking. And it's a great thing. It, it's like electricity. Right. Um, I don't know why it seems like um, there's always somebody I, I can sense a talent on somebody. Right. Or something. Or somebody, um, there are hurting people. Correct. Um, a lot around here. Um, I, I There are support groups that um, I, I feel needs to be done. Right. right. And it's not just like you... The, the typical support group. Correct. I think there needs to be a support group for mothers, period. Not just single moms right. or, you know, like the, you know, the, a lot of times you, they want to have like the domestic violence. That's good and right. that's great. Right. But a lot of times if you have like for domestic violence, nobody's going to come because nobody wants that stigmatism. That's right. But if you have one for like mothers, you will come to find out within that group there is a lot of pain and hurt That's right. that each woman can pull from. But it's the fact that you gather them all together and then you they are pulled on each other exactly. and what feed they off need. Of each other. Exactly. You're absolutely so, right. But you need to have that um vague word right and yet for them to come but the problem is for me is um just some i, I don't have the support to be able to get something like that together. right so if i don't it's it doesn't have to be me i'm just throwing that out there yeah somebody exactly. else do it that's right that's what and see do you it know in what? your territory that's right that's right that's i'm just right. throwing a word out there you do it in your territory that's right if it has to be based for at least bill if it has to be greenville Correct. if it has to be california it doesn't matter just do if you heard that and you said you know we don't have something like that do it right that's all i'm saying do it and see my thing is this right here when you dealing 
this is this is not only confirmation, but this is a testimony within a testimony, right? And this is actually, I want to share something with y'all. This is the first time that I've ever met this young lady. I've never knew her previously or prior to today. So what what's what's going on now is not coerced. This is not something that we talked over the phone about establishing, creating. No, because see, like I say, God has a funny way of going about doing certain things, man. You know, we all have that potential. I talk about this all the time. And like she just said, it doesn't necessarily have to be her as an individual that do these type of things. It can be anybody, you know, but when you're dealing with pride, you know, you, pride don't allow you but to go so far in life. Pride is nothing but a downfall. Um, my greatest fear in life personally is failure. I hate to fail at anything that I do. I'm an achiever. I'm an opportunist. Um, when opportunities are available, I pursue those opportunities. And this is the opportunity right here to be right here in the company of this young lady right here and to be able to spotlight her so she can share some things to y'all guys, not, you know, from a woman's perspective, because most of the women is always hearing it from a male's perspective or whatever. They never hearing it from the female side. Uh, we know that there's two sides to a coin. There's a head and there's a tail. Mm -hmm. So here's the head and here's the tail. And you're hearing it from the best of both worlds, man. I'm giving it to you from a male's perspective. She's giving it to you from a female perspective. My thing is this right here. We need to continue to keep ourselves involved within the communities as much as possible. Yeah. We can't just keep talking about the problems. We have to become the solution to the problems. We know what it takes to make differences and make changes. We are not pushing hard enough um, because we are separated. Um, yeah. I spoke about that earlier. You know, together we stand, but to divide it, we fall. Wow. We can't conquer nothing divided. Stop blaming a white man for things that we are actually, in fact, creating on our own accord. That incident in Columbia with those seven kids getting killed like that, that was unnecessary, man. And I spoke about that tremendously hard today. And I'm going to continue to speak about stuff like that because it's ridiculous, man. You know what I'm saying? We have to come together and fight. You know what I'm saying? We have to stand together, get past the color thing, and work as a unit. The more we work as a unit, the more, the more opportunities that we're going to have, part myself, the more opportunities we're going to have to be able to make different changes. But once again, um, I just wanted to reiterate on that and specifically, but right now, once again, it's about Miss Robin, and we are going to strictly talk about the community, and we're going to talk about some upcoming events that we would love to establish in various different areas. Um, Miss Robin, she does a whole lot of things from a community standpoint of view, and I have someone else. Um, Likewise, they do the same thing. And um, at some point, I'm going to try to bring him on camera so he can talk about this stuff because at one point, he worked with the school district. Um, he's very intelligent. He has a drive. He's very eager to make things happen for these kids. But anyway, I'm going to get back to Miss Robin because I know she's a serious community activist as well. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Let's talk okay. about what you got going on, sweetie. There's two things that I really want to do. One is I'm my daughter and I are about to start a new uh, YouTube channel. Um, it's going to be called the Converse, um, the Converse Chronicles. Okay. Okay. Um, it's going to be me and her having um, a weekly conversation about teenage. She's 14 years old. Yes, ma'am. We're going to have weekly conversations about. Um, my raising her and what it's like for her to be raised. Yes, ma'am. As um and um the issues that a, a teenager has. Correct. And I my approach, um I don't think I take the typical approach that my mom takes. Right. Right. I actually sit down and we talk and um we have in depth conversation and um I kind of measure whether I'm doing right and wrong. By the fact that, you know, there, there is no right and wrong, but it's a, a level of respect. She respects me. I like right. this summer, she made some major changes. Right. And I had five, was it five or four groups? I can't remember. But okay. I told her she cannot hurt herself. Right. She cannot hurt anyone else. That's right. She has to respect be respectful she cannot break any rules right and it has to come by me. right and why is it so important that it has to be like that let's talk about that the because importance of what you just now shared with facebook live because you don't want your child you, of course you don't want your child to hurt themselves that's, Correct. that's crazy absolutely and um if it hurts somebody else then you know um 
that goes into that bullying thing. You know, right, she, right. I want her to be a conscious right. of what she's doing. Conscious and aware. You know, conscious and aware of right. what she's doing. Whether right. what she's doing is, you know, she can go out and put something on that actually is hurting someone else. Correct. Be conscious of what you're doing. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and if she's wearing something that's inappropriate, that's not only disrespectful, but it can ultimately get her hurt. It can, most definitely. Most you know, definitely. not only by me, but by by somebody else. Exactly, exactly. And you don't want to be disrespectful. And no do when if the school says if it. If, you know, because I remember we had this thing with the the bandana. Right. I and I thought, that. Yeah. I thought, you know, she came, she said, Mama, this was, I love my bandana. It's just a color. Right. And I was like, baby, I don't care what that rule said. Right. If it's a rule in that book, right. you're going to follow it. I don't care what I feel about right. it. If it's a rule in that book, you're going to follow it regardless. No exceptions. No exceptions. Right. Because I'm not going up there, and you're not going to make me look bad at that school. So, so now, now, now I'm gonna cut you off for a minute. Why is it so important again um, that you have to talk to her like that? I mean, let's share the importance of what you say in the Facebook because I speak about that a lot. We can't be too soft with the kids. We can't let up. Uh, we got to give it to them raw and uncut. We got to give it to them in a way um, that they can accept it. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's how you talk to a child. It's how you raise a child. It's how you approach a child. Am I right about that? I mean, I'm asking you to yeah. translate that to Facebook Live from a woman's perspective. See, you get me all out my bougie. You get me all out my bougie. Damn, Jesus, bless it. <laughs> get to him. That's I'm what trying, you're here for. I'm trying to be all nice because you in the field. You can't like be me. nice. You can't be nice. You got to give it to him raw and uncut. That's what you're here for. But see, I need... The thing is, my child, she 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 has some learning disabilities. Yes, ma'am. And she, um, I had to start talking to her like early. And the Correct. reason why, because she don't give. Right. And things I had to teach her earlier. Yes, ma'am. For her to get it now. Correct. So I had to come at her about stuff that. You typically would talk to your teenagers about. Right. I had to start right. talking to her when she was like seven and eight. Wow. And so she started learning about some things a little earlier than right. people. So while these little young females are sitting here yak, yak, yakking about. Yeah, yeah. With, with, with the high sedity type stuff, uh -huh. right? And she's sitting here, she comes back and she tells mama. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there like. So so there. my next question, um, and you know you're sharing some great things with Facebook Live. We want to talk about like how do you have your daughter in fact involved in the community with you? Oh you know, God. let's talk about that from that perspective. She's right my there. secretary. Okay, okay. She's my secretary because I learned that with all the stuff I got going right. on, especially this summer, I don't have time to write. I don't have time. I don't even have time to hold my phone up. Correct. You know, because you're driving and stuff. Exactly. So, and, and we know there's a law to prevent you from yeah, doing things like yeah, that. So, you know, I got to keep my baby safe. Right. And so I got. I got a three-year-old who mm -hmm. has what is called Emanuel Syndrome. Right. So I have to take her back and forth to the doctor. My six-year-old is autistic with Asperger, if nobody knows what that is. No. She's on the autism spectrum, which is high-functioning. Okay. So she's near, she's, she has 126 IQ. Wow. But she doesn't, she's not like really socially there. Right. So she's like a genius. Uh -huh. And so, but she... I have to take her to a lot of points too. So I'm really busy and we have dance class and um I we used to do cheer and stuff like that and so I have her with my notepad, which I have one of them over here. Right. I have her with my notepad. She's sitting there and I'll jot something down and I she's writing it down and stuff like that. And I, I I try to tell her, you know, we're constantly talking. Right. We have conversations. And anytime me and her are alone, we have a conversation about boys. We have a conversation about what 
ninth grade is going to be like. Right. And I don't tell her about just the books. I tell her about what she's going to be expecting when she she interact with the girls that did not like her right. in school in the eighth grade or wasn't talking to her. Mm-hmm. That these girls are going to now come out all up in her face and try to be her. And friend. see, you know what? Um, to be honest with you, um, you know. What I was talking about earlier on my Facebook Live is basically some of the stuff that she's sharing now, once again. You know, you have to talk to the kids, man. You know, you have to give it to them in a way that they can, that a way that they can relate to you. You know, mm-hmm. um, you have to, it's, it's so important that we remain involved in the lives of our kids, man. We have to do that, man. You know, I can't, I can't stress that enough, you know, because we don't do enough. When the kids fail, it's because we have failed as parents. You know, like I said, a lot of them kids feel unloved and unwanted at home. So they turn to the streets in hopes that the streets can fill those open voids within them, not knowing that that's not true. You know, the streets don't have nothing to offer but two things, and I stress it a lot, death and jail. You know, so it becomes our responsibility um, to, you know, not only just um, establish a a mother and father uh, type relationship with our kids or whatever, but we have to be friends with them too, man. You know what I'm saying? What I mean about being friends, we have to perfectly... Be able to balance that out, you know, deal with them on a consistent level, man. Um, teach them things and, and, and raise them in ways that we wasn't taught and in, in ways we wasn't raised. You see what I'm saying? That's what we have to do. Um, you know, a lot of people misuse Facebook for, for the wrong reasons and not for the right reasons, man. Facebook Live is not for us to come on and talk about hurting each other or constantly talking about what we have from a, from a materialistic standpoint of view. Facebook is not designed for that. It's designed for a few reasons and a few reasons more only. One of them is to be able to reach out and, and interact with people that you haven't seen in a tremendous amount of years. And for things of this purpose right here, you know, supporting each other, you know, each one teach one, you know, the want for others as well as we want for ourselves. That's what it's all about. You know, staying in tune with the community, man, you know, working as a team, working as a unit. And like I say, making things happen. Stop talking about the problem and be the solution to the problem. And that's just the bottom line. And once again, this lady right here, Miss Robin, I just not met her. I'm ready to go home with her. <laughs> I'm ready to go kick back with her, man. She good people. You know, she does a lot of things from a community standpoint of view. Like, um, you may need to fry you up some chicken. Fry me some chicken because we going to eat. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Now nah, I'm just clowning. You know what I'm saying? Having a little fun. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, though. Uh, so, but she just shared some things with y'all. Um, for us, you know, with our um comedian um um career, whatever. One more thing. Put it out there. Okay. We don't want to leave nothing out. All right. This is my big baby. I had this. I have this idea. Right. Okay? My birthday is Halloween. Okay. I'm a I'm a Halloween baby. Okay. I'm October the twenty second. And my baby is October the twenty second. Why y'all call me? Cause I am actually thirty first. I am the thirty first. You the thirty first. I am the thirty first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got all the candy. <laughs> I got all the candy. <laughs> so this year is on the third. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what I would love to do is to have. Um, like a party, right? Um, on like oh, you know, Friday or Saturday, right? At a community center of some sort, and it be um, a Halloween after party. What will it take to make it happen? What we need to do to make it happen? I need a I, well. I got to have a venue. No I want some venue. people. Um, get some. Faces. We can do all of that. We can work in towards that, right? And um, I, my brother, um, I don't know if you ever heard of my brother. Yeah, you, you, bro. you know Jacob. Jacob worked with my brother Chris. Matter Dye. of fact, you know what? Chris Jacob Dye. Anderson is actually on Facebook Live Chris right Dye. now. Hold on, let me see. I thought I seen Jake on there. Let me pull it down. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Man, yeah, little brother, little boy, brother. they go Jacob right there. You want me to bring him on camera? Yes. Do you want me to bring Jacob on yes. camera? Jacob, I'm about to bring you on camera now. Let's get it. Bam. Add. I'm adding. Is he still there? I just waved at you, Jacob. I'm finna bring him on. Add. He might not still be on. 
Hey, um, Cuzzo, um, Olivia Brunson. We got our cousin Olivia on there. Yeah. Diane, Rachel Broadwater, Bryson, Raymond Harris, Amber Watson, Gregory Thompson, Frederick Ellawan, Allison Bird, Daniel Maddox, Gina Bro, and Mel Harris, Rachel Carter, Anita Heron. Thanks I, for the support. I like for real. I my cousins. Yeah. Oh, you some kid? You some kid? Mel Harris. Yes, Mel is on there. Mm -hmm. I thought I just seen Mel. Where's Mel? Yeah, there's Mel right there. I just waved at. Well, no, that's not my cousin. No. You sure that's not your cousin? You said white guy. No, that's a black guy. No, that's a black guy. No, that's a guy. That, that's a black guy. Male is, oh. My my male oh. is a, a female. Oh, oh, okay, okay, not okay. Not okay. male, male. You know what? That is a that is a female. I, mean, I can't see. That's a female right there. Oh, that's my cousin. Yeah, that's male. And then there's Amber. That's my baby. Amber. Watson's my baby. Okay. She's my baby girl. Okay. That's one of my Oklahoma babies. <laughs> but listen, though, Facebook, it was an honor. And a pleasure, as per usual, to have the opportunity to interview Miss Robin. Um, great I lady. Like this. Very inspiring. Has some great things going on from a community standpoint of view. Um, she has, in fact, put her information out there in reference to her YouTube channel with the stand up comedy. Yo, big shout outs to Terry and Melissa yes. Entertainment. Hey. I had the honor and the privilege to interview those guys Sunday. It was an awesome interview. Um, I appreciate the love and the support um, from um, Atlanta, Georgia area, the Augusta, Georgia area, um, the Virginia area, um, the Alabama area, uh, the South Carolinas. And you know what I'm saying? It's awesome, man. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's all about. You know, each one teach work. Get out, network, man. Find that talent. Spotlight them, put them out there, and hope somebody out there willing to help support. You know what I'm saying? Lady has a very inspired career, man. She ain't just talking about it. She being about it. You know, like I said, at the end of the day, what's so great about it? She's in tune and in touch with the community. She this loves that. Awesome, man. You see what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day. And he don't smell like root either. If it's God's will, it's going to happen. If it's God's will. <laughs> so funny. But yo, once again, Stephen Brown Community Involvement Show. Y'all guys know how I do. Um, you know what I'm saying? Continue to support me. Likewise with Miss Robin. My name's Stephen. Mm. My name's Stephen. Man, how many Stephens we got in this room? There's a lot of Stevens. There's a lot of Browns. Um, Mr. Brown. You heard what she said? I just got home, bro. Oh, Jacob said he just got home. Okay, Jacob. Um, We got Cuzzo right here, man. You know what I'm saying? She want to holler at you. So if you're available, come on camera before I end the live. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it's one thing I forgot. I was just sitting here talking about this individual that I met um, that works with the school district. Um, Love to do things from a community standpoint of view. Striving to get some things started. And y'all know how black folks do, man. We, you know, we get we get tight knitted. We set up under each other. Uh, we don't show, you know what I'm saying? So come on over here, Uncle Jane. Come on over here, man. You don't want to come? Oh my goodness. He don't want to come. Uh anyway, y'all I'm saying, this is a sister from another brother and another daddy. You know what I'm saying? So we stay here chilling. We're trying to see a Jacob, man, Uncle James Uncle Jane. Yes. We're trying to see if Jacob is going to come on camera. Jacob, if you're going to come on camera, just pop up on the screen and say something. Uh, this is your cousin. Um, obviously, you know what she do. She do production, produces. She do all the same thing. Pretty much a lot of stuff that you do. She just want to be able to commute with you for a second. If you don't have the time to come on the camera, pop up and let me know. Um, so I can, Don't start clowning on me now. Come on, sweetie. Come on, little Nisa right here. This is my little Nisa right here. Yep, very smart, very intelligent, bright future, cute smile, and um, she's well educated, um, very respectful. It's yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, and no ma'am. And this is a prime definition of what I what I'm talking about. We have some intelligent young black kids out here, man. You know, but they innocent when they're young. 
And so what we need to do, we need to continue to inspire these kids, man. You see what I'm saying? Give them what they looking for. Give them what they seeking for, man. You see what I'm saying? Stay a part of their lives. Stay involved. Do everything that you could possibly do to help them achieve in life, man. That's what it's all about, man. This is the future for tomorrow right here. Bottom line. You see what I'm saying? You can't get around that. You know what I'm saying? This is an innocent one right here. I know she's going to be something special because uh, Uncle Jane don't play no game. You know, Uncle James raised them the right way, not the wrong way. And I'm not, you know, downgrading nobody out there, but I'm just saying, if there's still an opportunity for your kid to exceed to the next level in life from a positive perspective, I will ask y'all guys to continue to inspire, I mean, encourage, part myself, encourage, inspire, as well as motivate them to be all that they could possibly be. And let them know that anything outside of education is only one of the tools in the toolbox. There's many different tools in there. There's education, there's science, there's math, there's technology, so on and so forth, etc. So when I talk about the different tools, that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, Jacob, if you can come on camera, pop up on camera, because Miss Comedian Stand Up Comedy, she wants to... She, she, She's our future, bro, Keith. Oh, that's right. Most definitely. We're going to keep molding them. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep molding. She's going to keep throwing them punches. Steven. Steven. What? what? Say what? Might be small, but the balls are heavy. heavy, <laughs> heavy, heavy. <laughs> hey, hey, she off the chain. Now, y'all need to go on YouTube and check out that. She's funny. She ain't acting up yet. But y'all go on YouTube and check this lady out for real, man. I wanted to come down here. I actually drove down here. To come down here to interview this lady. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we had a nice location, a venue. I don't want to put their crib on camera, you know what I'm saying, without their consent. But we had a nice location, a venue, and we've been having a great time up until we came on camera or whatever. You know, we sat around, we chopped it up, we shot the bobo, we talked about, you know, different things, man. Because like I said, you know, sometimes you can be hilarious, it's all fun and games, but when it's time to get serious, we have to be serious when it yes. comes to this right here, yes. the future for tomorrow, yes. and our community. We want to make it possible where these kids can go out there in their own yards and play and don't have to worry about an idiot riding through yes. shooting a gun because he sees somebody he don't like or because he sees somebody with someone that he don't like. You, we got to get past that nonsense, man. That's just the bottom line, man. We got to get past that stuff. That stuff ain't going to get, no, no, get us nowhere in life. We always talking about the white man this and the white man that. I talked about that same stuff earlier, man. Stop blaming the white man for your ignorancy, man. You know what I'm saying? The white man ain't coming in, knocking on your door. Man, look at him, man. Take the gun, go over there and kill that man. That man ain't telling you to do that. You're doing it because you want to do it. And then when they give you 100 years, the first thing you're going to say, man, that's wrong, man. That white man, man, that man should have did my son. Like, no, your son should have did what he did, and the white man would have done what he done after that. There's consequences. There's a, for every action, there is a reaction. An opposite reaction. By the man. Who don't know that? It don't take a rocket science to figure that out. So let's stop killing each other, man. Let's start taking life serious. Let's start loving each other more. Let's start embracing each other more. Yeah. Even more. Let's start encouraging, inspiring, motivating. You know, let's start doing things as a collective. Not just black people, but black people doing things with white people. White people doing things with Hispanics. And Hispanics doing stuff with the green people. The green people doing stuff with the blue people. The blue people doing stuff with the purple people. Everybody doing something with everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? Every All lives matter. You know, just like they say black lives matter, white lives matter too, Hispanic lives matter too. Everybody lives matter. When God created man, he created man in his own, in his own likeness and his own image. When he created man, he didn't say, okay, I'm going to make you black and I'm going to make you white. So you need to dislike him. And I, He didn't say none of that. You cannot go in the Bible and tell me nowhere that God said anything uh, that, that we're supposed to hate each other because we're not the same color. Uh-uh, it don't work like that. So for the ones that believe in the Bible and say you stand firm to that the Bible share and manifest, then we already know what time it is. So for the ones going in and out of them churches, breaking their neck to get up and out of stomp their feet and clap their hand and come right back out of them, turn that bottle up, put that thing in your mouth, or put them caught, tighten up. Bottom line, because we know at the end of the day, if there is anything that God has ordained, can't nobody do nothing to take that. We have to control the things that we can control 
and allow God to control the things that we can't control. You know, start doing things God way, not our way. Amen. And when we do it like that, typically, normally, quote unquote, we get better results, man. And this is the result right here. You see this little girl right here? Beautiful smile, man. Beautiful and smile. You see what, what I'm do, saying? What do Mama P say? Yeah. God is what? Tell the camera something for you. Tell the camera something, sweet. God is what? God. What? Ohana is. Family. Yes. God is love and Ohana means family. Those are two very important lessons. Very important and these kids are most definitely coachable and teachable. We just have to figure out how we can spend more adequate time with these kids. Invest in them and not in lottery tickets. You take a chance, go to the store, like I said earlier, spend $200 in hopes that you're going to stretch off the winning number and you're going to win all this money. That's psychological. Ain't nothing but a myth. Snap back to reality and that same money you're wasting on them lottery tickets, invest them in these kids, man. Yes. Invest them in these kids right here, man. Because they need us. We need them just as much as they need us. They the future for tomorrow. Without these kids, we are nothing. We don't even exist, man. They make it possible for us to be relevant. But a lot of us are not conscious and aware. We don't understand that. We understand things that we want to understand. We understand things that can never be understood. This is something that can be understand as well as understood. You understand first, and once you understand, you begin to over, you overstand. You see what I'm saying? See, there's a big difference. Learn how to distinguish one from the other. Bottom line, each one, teach one, love each other, and support people out here, man, that's putting the hard work in, that's really concerned and care about the community. Don't support those that's utilizing the communities as a tool to manipulate the people for financial gain. That's why I decided to create a nonprofit organization. You see what I'm saying? So what I do from a community standpoint of view, either it comes out of my pocket or I have people such as the Salvation Army and other people that might give me small donations. But when I get donations, I never take nothing for, um I never take nothing financially. I don't never ask for money. You see what I'm saying? Because I don't want people to get the impression that I'm in it for the money. This is my money right here. This little girl is my money. That's all I need right here. This is my cash. This is my ticket to heaven right here, this little girl, man. You see what I'm saying? It ain't about a dollar, right? Money is the root of all evil. A lot of us focus on the wrong things versus the right thing. You know, the idea when you approach someone and you ask them to sponsor you, the first thing they think you're coming for a dollar. It's not all about a dollar. You can sponsor people in so many different ways, like what I'm doing now. I came in here and interviewed this lady right here for, for nothing. I'm not in this for no money, man. You know, it's going to come naturally. You know, God has a time to do everything, but... Am I just focused on? No, I'm not focused on that, man. You see what I'm saying? I owe society. My past tells me that I owe society. God has demonstrated in so many different ways that I owe society. And that's why he gave me a second opportunity back out into society to do great things, to be able to help those that's unfortunate. You know, Stephen, I got an idea. Why, you know, there are some people, you know, they are retired. Correct. And they don't have any children right and they want they don't you know they probably done took all the trips and they sitting on money and i know a few people that they really want to do something nice yes ma'am why don't you just invest in a child facts great that's a great invest idea invest in a child sponsor a child right um there are children that want to do things like dance Correct. We are. Um, we have a dance group, A Y Effect, and there are children. Um, we have children that want to join. Right. Um, it's forty dollars per month, and um, these children are given a chance to dance hip hop and to um, go and perform for um, at different events. Correct. And this is a great opportunity for kids. And I've heard kids wanting to do it, but their mothers or father, mother and fathers don't have the money to pay um, or to buy some outfits for them or something like that. Why don't someone who actually have the money who would love to just sponsor a child right. and help that 
child out to be able to take a dance class. Um, some people don't even know how to connect with those programs. If you know a program, to give that information to a parent. Give that information to someone. Right. You know, share it so that maybe they somebody else will get an opportunity or something. Right. Um, but yeah, I really think that's a great way to um, just even if you're a group, you're a biker club or something, just sponsor a child. Grab, you know, just go to some place and say, you know what, I don't know who child it is, but I want to just pay for a child to take a class. It don't matter which child. Just, you. you know, I'm going to write out a check for like a year or something. Right. You know, and that child um, tuition is going to be paid. Right. I'm pretty sure they're going to find somebody's child that's in need and let that child go for a year. Awesome. Awesome. You don't, it, it's not about you. That's right. It's not about you. When you do it, it's never about you. It's about that child. That's right. And I'm glad you, and it's, and it's kind, of, I, I kind of ironic that you made mention of that because a lot of times when we do things, we have to do it from our heart, man. You know, like, you know, the idea of you doing something for somebody and you just talking about, no, you, you do it, you do it from your heart. I, and, 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 what, and what's best, you know, like establishing what you just said, that's, that's an awesome idea, man. That's something me personally um, that I haven't just actually thought of doing. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? But it makes a tremendous amount of sense. Find a kid, man. Like she said, the color doesn't matter, man. I have to keep stressing that. The color do not matter. So for the ones that have just a tad bit of racism that still exists within them, man, get that stuff out your system. Because I'm going to tell you right now, them handcuffs, them cyber, them police cars, them jail, they don't have no color. All of them got the same color, blue light, but everything else don't color, right? So I say that to say this right here. She just shared a great idea with Facebook Live. Me, personally, myself, that's something that I'm finna exercise. Um, if there's anyone out there on Facebook Live currently now um, that feel likewise, I'm gonna encourage y'all to do the same thing, man. This is what it's all about, you know, sticking together as a family. You know what I'm saying? She Up until this day, I didn't know she knew me. You know, she know me from social media. You know what I'm saying? And she has some great things to say about me. And that makes me feel good about myself that there's, in fact, someone out there that's paying attention and, walk, and, and seeing the great things that I'm actually doing, man. I have been going tremendously hard, you know, to make changes and to make and, and make differences, you know, to contribute and give back as much as possible because that's what I stand for. You know what I'm saying? That's what I live for. You know what I mean? So once again, we family now. You see what I'm saying? This ain't the first time y'all gonna see us together now. Oh, no. Now, she do stand up comedy. She's great. Me, I'm a clown on the low now. So y'all might just see us together. We might pull old Perry and Melissa on you. <laughs> if you ain't careful now. We might be somewhere up in the mint or somewhere kick back giving y'all that. I'm not going to use profanity around this little girl right here. But y'all might see us somewhere one day or one night acting up too now. I'm going to tell you that now. You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's all love, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's start doing more things together, man, as a collective. It don't matter if we came from the same mother, the same father. Now, it does, at the end of the day, we all family, man. You know, we have to love and embrace each other, man. We have to want to see each other achieve in life, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's areas I might be weak in that you're strong in. I'm not going to hate. Help me get where you at and vice versa. It's a two-way street. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, thank you again, Miss Robin. Um, for coming on the Community Involvement Show. Um, Y'all guys know how I do. You know what I'm saying? I love every moment of this. Um, thanks my little, to my little cutie pie my for coming on here with the most beautiful smile in the world. Y'all can't tell me she ain't got a smile, a, a pretty smile to, a, a smile to kill now. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you what now, Daddy done already said she ain't dating until she about 21 now. So don't try to holler with you. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to put that out there in the app. But yes, um, once again, I want to thank y'all guys for tuning in um, to hear what we had to say. Like I said, you know, um, we just want y'all to know, you know, it's not all fun and fun and games or whatever. But, you know, you want to have a little hilarious side to it. Um, but it is what it is. I stand for what I stand for. Miss Robin stand what she stand for. She put her information out there. Check her out on YouTube, man. Like and subscribe, man, to help this sister reach her goals, man. Um, with that being said, peace. Till next time. 
know how I do. I'll be back again. You never know who I'm going to have on next time. I got a surprise for y'all, though. Peace. I love y'all, man.